Hello fantastic people, I hope you're doing great. You probably noticed I'm releasing a little bit less videos than usually. I'm very sorry about that. I do have few excuses and I would like to share them with you at the very end of this video. But before we do that, or before we talk about them, let's learn how to properly export Blender models and import them to Unity. So in this tutorial, rather than focusing on things like materials and textures, I would like to focus on correct rotation and correct size. So over here I have a, this simple goblet with some very simple uh, materials added on top of it to have a little bit of color. And basically, let's say I want to export it. So I go to File, Export, FBX. Uh, you see I have already um, goblet FBX file, but let's overwrite it with default settings. So I just click export FBX. Now I go to Unity, I click right in the project window, import new asset and goblet. Whee! And you can see already over here and over here that the goblet is rotated. If I drag and drop it um, to the game window or to the scene, it seems like everything is all right. But unfortunately, you see the units are in hundreds when it comes to scale. And then uh, rotation, it's also mm, not zero. So basically it's around minus 90. If I try to zero it, you see it's lying on the side. And then if I um, basically clear the, mm, the scale, the object is extremely, extremely small. Ah, sorry, you see so small that I actually got lost over here. Yes, so we have it here. Um, so now let's have a look how to export it properly. So I'm back in Blender. Now I go to File, Export, FBX. And now there are several things I have to do. So I select um, only mesh. Sometimes you may want to um, export armature, uh, armature as well. But for this, in this case, I'm going just with mesh because I don't have any uh, armature. Then I click Apply Transform, then Forward, I change from minus Z to Z and from Apply Scaling All Locals to FBX Unit Scale. And that is really it. So now if I click Export, go to Unity and import the asset. You can see already that it's turned my way, so it has correct rotation. I drag and drop it and let's, yay, and we have it here. So you see we can make the scale 111 or we can even actually just reset the um, transform and you can see everything is all right, it's turned the right way, so uh, as the arrows are pointing, everything nice and easy. In this section I would like to show you my way of working with animated models in Blender. Um, so recently I ran into this issue of um, having more than one armature. So basically um, I have the typical FPS arms, right, and basically my gun and the arms are two separate armatures. Um, because obviously sometimes um, or some moment in the future I would like to swap the gun for, for example, rifle. So I found that this will be the most convenient way of doing that. Unfortunately, I didn't find an easy way of working with that in Unity after exporting it as um, FBX. So now uh, I would like to show you the whole process of how do I prepare the animations and how do I export them and use them in Unity. So now inside of our goblet we have a flower and I'm going to create two separate armatures for them. Uh, what's important, nothing uh, new here, everything is the usual stuff. Uh, so I'm going to speed it up. In case you would like to learn this type of stuff, so how to create um, rigs, how to animate different models and so on and so on, please let me know in the comment um, so I will know that you are interested in watching this type of stuff too. Okay, so now I have set up two 
um, two different armatures and I'm going to open some extra windows to make uh, working with animations slightly easier. So we let's split this to half so here we'll be animating and let's split this one once again. So for the top one let's select the um, dope sheet uh, so sorry <laughs> dope sheet and here action editor and over here let's select the nonlinear animation yes so now let's get started with the first um, actually we're going to create just one animation um, or maybe two just to have them stack so you can see um, how to work with them in unity once they are um, imported so here, mm, let's start, for example, with the um, D -D -D -D, goblet armature. What I'm going, I'm selecting it and then I'm creating new action. I'm going to call it um, swinging. Then I'm selecting the other armature. And over here, I'm also selecting the same mm, action. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to, I'm going to select both of the armatures, um, holding shift and going to the um, post mode. And now I'm going to um, just create simple animations. So I'm not going to too much detail here because I don't want, um, it's not a animation tutorial. Basically, I just want to show you that I'm going through the regular process um, of creating keyframes, nothing, uh, nothing crazy here. So now if we check our animation, it looks something like that. So nothing crazy here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to click over here on the push, push down button. So basically what will happen, this animation will get pushed into the uh, nonlinear animation uh, thingy. So basically this will become a part of the one big animation when we import it to um, Unity and then we'll be able to split it into multiple animations extremely easily. So I click push down, I want one for a goblet, I want one also for, um, for the flower. So the same thing and we have this first animation over here so now let's create a second one so what I'm going to do I'm selecting flower armature new um, rename it to some other thingy because I don't know yet what it will be selecting the goblet armature selecting uh, the some other thing. Okay, so the animation is ready. I'm going to select it once again, make it um, cyclic. And the fun part is that it actually looks like some kind of <laughs> attacking animation. So here we are. Okay, so again, what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, just double check if no extraction was um, created. That happens, unfortunately, sometimes. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to select the um, NLA tracks that I'm interested in. And basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, click push down. Oh, I see it went to another, um, another NLA track, but this is pretty easy to fix over here the same situation so now what i'm going to do what well, i'm going to select this action and just stack it on top like in front of the swinging one and now i can just simply click on those ones and delete them okay the last thing we have to do is we have to make sure that those checkboxes here are selected if they are not checked basically those animations will not affect the nlas and Basically, you will have no animations in Unity. Um, so once done, once that's done, we are ready to um, export our file to Unity. Actually, we don't need to do anything else because 
I found out that the easiest way to work in Unity with this type of animations, especially with multiple, uh, multiple armatures, is to do not create the FBX file, but rather just import the raw mm, Blender file. So in my case, it's called, I think, tutorial alternative. And you see, I have it here. I can drag and drop it. And you see um, the correction, uh, sorry, the rotation and the scale is um, more or less correct. So the scale is all right, but we are rotated 90 um, degrees. So we would like um, the item you remember as previously to be facing like the same direction as the um, as the red arrow. So for this, what we can do, let's just delete everything once again let's go back to blender and unfortunately i didn't find any other way than just simply rotating it um, in the direction you need so in my case it's minus 90 degrees once i save it and import it to unity the rotation will be correct let's just have a look for the tutorial alternative and you see it's facing the correct way. Now, um, the animations, let's have a look at them. So you see I clicked on the main file and over here you see this, this icon with send. And actually what is happening here is basically we are having all the animations in this one thing, right? So in this one line. So basically what we need to do now, we have to have a look inside our mm, Blender file to what are the keyframes of the animation. So the first one is from 0 to 80. So for that we go back to Unity, we um, call it um, swinging and select it from 1. Or is it, can we do 0? Yeah, we can do 0. No, it gets back, it goes back to 1. So 1 to 80, we want, to, well, we want it to loop and we click we don't have to click yet apply because we can straight away create the second animation. So you've seen I click this plus icon over here and then it's from 80 to 140. So I go back here and starting 80, finishing on 140, call it um, attack and now I don't want it to loop. So I have both animations created and I click apply. We and once it's loaded, I can use those animations. So in order to do that, I simply go to tutorial alternative. So that's the main, uh, main file. I create the animator. I create new animation controller. So over here, mm, go let, drag and drop it, go to animator. And you see, let's just maybe uh, move some window over here. Let's make it smaller now. Let's make this one smaller. Awesome. Now we add new state. Call it um, idle, and we can select the. Uh oh. It so the other one has the incorrect name. So let's go back and fix it. So I'm clicking over here. I click on the sun change this one to attack, click and press enter, unclick it just to be sure, and now click apply once again. And I see over here it changed name, so everything is good. So I see idle, um, swinging, then let's create another one, call it, mm, call it attack, and let's select the attack. Now let's make a simple transition and simple parameter for that. So attack, just so we can test it. And what I'm going to do for this animation to play, I'm going to do attack, no exit time, fixed duration, maybe something small, the transition time like 1.2. And for back, um, I just want to have exit time or maybe 0 0.9 is alright and 0 0.1 for fixed duration of transition. 
yeah, it looks all right. So now let's test it. So let's move the camera a little bit. So it, it will be once again easier this way. So oh, maybe game here and then send here. We have camera. Let's move it so we see everything here. And let's start the game. So you see the animation plays as expected and now I can uh, trigger the attack and the attack is happening and then I go back to swinging. So this is my way of working with the animations from Blender. Um, it has been a little bit problematic in the past so um, seriously I spent I think last four or five days um, to figure out how to do that and I thought that this will be an um, amazing thing to share and actually it will be amazing even for myself to my remind myself how I've done it I'm um, just you know to do not get lost again okay so now time for the excuses why the videos are not so regular as they were before um, basically what is happening there I think two main reasons. First one, it is a holiday season and I'm traveling a little bit and I'm not able to record while I'm out of the house. And then the second thing is um, I decided to leave my job. So basically it means I have uh, quite a lot of things um, at work to do and sometimes also after it to you know prepare onboarding of the new people, help the company and so on so on. Um, but this will change um, dramatically because I decided to do not look for new work. Um, basically, the plan is to focus 100% on this YouTube channel and on the game development. So I hope that means um, you will be able to expect from me regular videos. I hope at least three times a week at the beginning. And then we'll see how it goes. So this is pretty exciting for me. It will be a little bit tough at times, I guess, but you know, I love challenges and I think this will be also amazing adventure. So I hope we'll be there together. And you know, I think that's time to conclude the video. Have a fantastic day. Love you and bye bye.